What's up, dude? Hi, this is Nair from The Bricks Dude, and today we have something interesting just for you. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel just right here. This is very important for us as content creators at YouTube. So, ready to watch. Ooh. Lego Star Wars Death Star set number 75159 from the year 2016. We decided to take that to the next level by upgrading the set, adding some nice extension, some cool features, and what you see here is how it looks after the upgrade. You can see that we added some landing platforms, other kind of extensions, ability to allow other spaceships to land, also escape pods in the bottom, the lower level, like you see here, even ability to connect the lunar spaceship of NASA, and this is the Millennium Falcon on the landing pad. So let's look, what did we do here? So first thing you can see there, there's a kind of a little prison cell in the detention facility. This prison cell was actually taken from either LEGO Space Blacktron or LEGO Space Police, one of those old sets. On the top level, we added another interesting extension. And this is Star Wars Duel on the Boo set, set number 75169. And there's also a device, device which you see now, this device is from LEGO Agents. There's a kind of, uh, I don't know, some special thing inside and this is a klaxon alarm sound book which we added there to add another nice uh, interesting playable feature let's rotate the death star the death star is basically a space station which has a special cannon that can destroy whole planets this is what it is now the landing platforms. We added a nice extension to the landing platform, to the landing bay. And this is what you see here. It's actually completes the pad. So now we have three landing pads, number one, two, and three. And you can draw that out just like a drawer. You have technical bricks for connecting that to the Death Star. Technical bricks and technical pins. All right, three landing pads. This makes the whole thing more playable because you can put more spaceships inside a space station. Let's put them back to place. Now we have a whole fleet out there. Now let's see what else do we have. We have this rotating cannon which we added from the First Order Battle Pack of Star Wars, set number 75197. So this gives a, a nice firepower to the station. And what you see here, this is another addition. There's a kind of landing pad using a technical brick for that pod. This is the pod of a Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, the same set that comes with Thor from Marvel Comics, number 76102. A side view. So this is how you attach or detach that pod from Guardians of the Galaxy to the station. Now there are also two pins which we added there, so you'll be able to hang this lunar space station of NASA, set number 60227. We also added another thing in the bottom of the station to fit those two pins. So this is just a match between technical parts. Actually, you can attach anything to the station. Millennium Falcon. This is a small-scale Millennium Falcon that fits the landing pad. We will put a link how to build that. 
And here's a ladder. You can see that from this side there's a ladder and there are two attachment points of the whole extension to the station. In the bottom you can see that we have put an escape pod. And this is a very simple one, basically made of two parts. And some other decorations around, such as those engines. You can see that there's a kind of railway that allows to put it in and out. And this is another escape pod. This one is actually was taken from Star Wars New Hope. Escape pod set number 75228. Another makeover was changing the minifigures of the whole space station. Now this set is from the year 2016 and set number 75159, but there was also an older set from the year 2008, set number 10188. And I'm not counting the mini Death Star from set number 9676 of the Microfighters, which comes with a TIE Interceptor, and also an older set number 10143 of 2005, Death Star 2. Thank you for watching.